Hey Tubes. So today we're going to be going through and replacing that pump. The unit is a boiler circulating pump for one of the zones in the house. And I installed this oh, roughly 10 years ago now, I believe. And um, this pump was a used pump that I had sitting around then. So um, I'm guessing that uh, it's going to need to be rebuilt. Last night, what was ended up happening was uh, there was no water circulating whatsoever in the upper zone. This unit was super, super hot. So I'm guessing that the impeller has either uh, seized up or the fins of the impeller have broken off. So I'm going to zoom out here and just show you what the process is that I'm going to do. First thing, I've got shutoffs below and above my... Uh, um, circulating pumps so I'm going to shut those off. I've also got a shutoff over there that I'm going to turn off. I am going to turn off the main power because I've got 110 volts running in right there. So step one is going to be me shutting the circulating pumps and all that stuff off. Uh, you're going to hear the washer and dryer running unfortunately because they're right underneath where we are. So I've gone through to prevent as uh, much water uh, leakage that might happen um, by putting a sponge and a towel and uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So once those are all off, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attack the electrical. So why don't I get you guys repositioned here and we'll take a look at the electrical. Alright, so let's go ahead and start this. Okay, so my cover just snaps off. Next thing I'm going to do is oh, look at that. Did I find my problem? No, that's my ground wire. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I had a problem there. Alright, so I've got my wires. Now, it could also be the start capacitor here that uh, has gone bad, or run capacitor, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to look at it at a later date and see what's going on with it. But... <clears throat> So, let's go ahead. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attack these bolts. So this is a 5 8 for me. One thing I wish I would have done a little bit differently was left just a little bit more room between my circulating pumps when I built this system. But it is what it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen the one side, loosen the other side.
Okay, so those bolts are out. No leakage yet, so that's good. There is a rubber O-ring inside there. I was talking about. Here's a spare one that I've got just kind of sitting around over here. Now one thing that I do is um, I usually keep a spare circulating pump around that I know is a good one. That way if I have any problems during the year, because you know it always happens in the most inopportune time. That uh, I've got a spare kick around. So now I've had really good luck with these Grunfaust pumps. Um, I've also had really good luck with these uh, Takos. So, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. All right, so we got that broken free. Get a little bit of water loss. There's not much you can do about that. All right. All right. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these gaskets. So I'm gonna need them for when I swap over the pumps. gaskets are still in good shape and there's no uh, pitting or cracking or they're still very pliable so I'm gonna use them for the next one now I'm gonna have to do a, an autopsy on this later on see what's going wrong with it but um, for now I don't really have time to do that, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to swap the unit out. Now, the unit I'm going to be replacing it with is one of these. These can be found at your local home improvement center, or you can get them off Amazon or eBay or um, I go down to my local plumbing supply place and they give me a pretty decent price on them so now they do offer these with the ability to put a check valve in here now I don't need the check valve because I actually uh, uh, have check valves installed but let me go see if I've got one sitting in inventory and I'll show you guys what those look like and I have found one of those little check valves. Now they would go right in here in this orientation and you just push them down in. Like I said, I don't need this so I'm not installing it on this one. Now this kit also did come with two new gaskets. Um, after kind of looking at this a little bit further, I've noticed that this gasket, the old ones, are actually starting to break apart a little bit. So to be on the safe side, I'm going to ditch those ones, okay, and then I'm going to install new gaskets here, okay, top and bottom, again, like I said, I'm not installing the check valve, now, Taco did offer these with a check valve installed already, and then they stopped offering them with the check valve installed, and then they started selling them with the check valves separately. So, uh, let's see here. Next thing we gotta do, 
we're going to open this up so we can do our electrical. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. And then, so we're going to go ahead and get this back up. So these, first thing we got to do is make sure that we have our arrow pointing in the correct direction. For me, I want my circulator pump to be circulating up. Oops, of course, drop that. I'm going to grab this one. My O-ring went behind the dryer, so instead of dealing with trying to go get it, I'll just use that spare one I got for now. Alright, so let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and install everything. my connections here first and then uh, install the electrical last. good for those. So let's go ahead and make our electrical connections now.
that snagged on. I am actually going to go get a pair of wire cutters. That is just a little too long for my liking. Be right back. Okay. And my last connection has got to be my ground. Go ahead and loosen this screw up. So my ground wire underneath. thing open valve open valve and then we are going to open the last valve so now I'm gonna go and okay well I've gone upstairs I've turned on everything and uh, all I do to make sure that everything is primed is I just shut this valve, open it, and I just do that a couple times over again. And I just make sure that there's there's any air in the system, it purges it out. And you can also do the same thing over here. If you listen, you can actually hear that there's a difference. Now you don't hear that cavitation anymore. So cavitation is the air in there. 